new bike day these days are supposed to be super fun full of excitement and just full of elation well this bike day feels kind of dark it feels bad memories pain <laughs> you guys are probably like what the heck are you talking about and when something like this happens you try to think well how do I explain it you know I'm a, you know I'm a youtuber you know I can't tell them the real story because it's just too crazy um, so whatever let's just tell you what happened and you guys can judge and say what you want and feel what you want everybody knows about my dad it's like my biggest video it's like like half a million views you know my dad getting his new mountain bike he's you know got diagnosed with diabetes he you know had back surgery and motivated and inspired a ton of people to get on their bike and ride despite their issues or despite their frailties. What none of you guys know is what happened that day. Me and my dad picked up the bike and as soon as uh, we got home we, we laughed, we, we were planning rides, we were, you know, alright, we're gonna go here tomorrow, we're gonna ride this, it's gonna be fun, you know, we're, we're super excited, we're super stoked. So, it was good. Well, I ended up leaving the house after we had just picked up his bike, his house, drove home to my house. And by the time I got to my house, little did I expect that my life was about to literally change forever in the worst ways. I opened the door and I looked in my house and it just seemed so empty. I looked everywhere and it just something seemed completely off. I picked up I noticed the desk on the table was closed with the computer. It usually has the computer in there. And just something told me that the computer wasn't going to be there. As soon as I opened it, the computer was gone. So I knew that my wife had left, left me. I had no idea where she went. I had no idea where my kid was. And that began my new journey. One, to find my kid, and two, to try to save my marriage, if even possible at this point. Um, without getting in too many details, long story short, I found my daughter and um, I moved to Texas where um, I've been taking care of my daughter 50% of the time. And just learning to relive, learning to do things in a different way. So. It came time for me to get another bike. My bike was getting old. You know, I didn't really have the money. My dad, everyone wants to know about my dad, but what I ended up having with my dad was that he was just too depressed. He lost me. He lost Amira. There wasn't really much motivation to ride. We were supposed to do this together. We were supposed to, you know, do this thing together you know as father and son and we were both stoked on it and it wasn't gonna happen I was gone and my daughter who my dad looks at like the daughter he never had was my daughter and their relationship he loves her to death 
He was broken. I was broken. We were all broken. Um, no bitterness towards my wife or anything like that, but it's what happens. You know, this channel, I want to be real with you guys. We all go through things. And I want to be honest with you. Um, so, the slogan of the channel is stay strong and keep pedaling. So that's basically what I'm doing. That's what I've been doing. And I called up my dad and I said, hey, you know, what do you want to do? You know, I know you got into this bike. It's been almost a year and I know you've, you know, unfortunately he did put on some of the weight back and, you know, was trying to get into a place where he felt strong enough again to ride, but it just wasn't going to happen right now. Um, he didn't have the confidence to, to do it, you know, without me. Um, so I sold my bike and basically gave him the money and got his bike. It's, I've ridden it a couple times. It is an amazing bike. And this will be the bike that I will be riding for the duration of time. And I'll be updating you guys more. There's a lot that's coming. There's a lot more of the story to tell.